Hey guys, the Riai here on a quick tutorial of VSDC on exporting a project. Uh, Jay Snippity asked me if I could make one for him when he saw the VSDC 60 FPS test footage I made a while back. So I am going to assume you have some basic knowledge in VSDC on how to actually import video, edit, and get it at least set up. So if you would like some information on how to work things through there, then, uh, just ask me and I can help out with that as well and I'll make another video. But right now, this is, of course, like I said, focused on the exporting, so. Now, when you get the setup and you go look at the uh, profile itself, it's usually on MP4, and under the selections, you have all profiles, MP4, H.264, and lossless profiles. Now, we're going to be making an H.264 slash AVC, so you can select that, and it doesn't really matter because we're going to be going to edit in one second over on the right side. So you just click edit profile and then you're going to add a profile. You're going to change the name of it to 1080p 20 Mbps AC3 448. I'll explain this all of course as we go through here but for now just copy the profile name and uh, paste it in the description or just select all and type it in also. Under video settings, you're going to change XVID to H.264 slash AVC, and then click configure. Magic. And for that encoding type, you're going to change it from single pass to two pass, since this will be directly put onto YouTube once it's done, and do it at 20,000 kilobits per second, or as the profile name says, that is this equates to 20 megabits per second, and then click OK. For the resolution, you could either select original or go to custom. You're of course doing custom because the profile name itself is 1080p. So the width gets changed to 1920 and the height gets switched over to that <laughs> 1080. And there's no re aspecting of the image or anything, so no correction there. And the bitrate of course is set right there. Frame rate. Now if you go above 30 frames per second, you're going to have to set this to original because it doesn't go above that. As the video footage shows up here, the title name on the top left, the frame rate is 60 FPS, and you can't select that, so you have to leave it at original, and it will do it at 60 frames per second. Uh, that's all for the video setting up, and then go to the audio next, and I use AC3 audio because it doesn't have the AAC or advanced audio codec to choose from. So AC3 at 448 frequency is either going to be 44.1 or 48 kilohertz in general. If you do not know what it is, just set it to original. And channels again will be original, mono, or stereo. If you don't know, just set it to original. Usually it's stereo anyway, so you should be able to just leave it there. And once that's done, it'll automatically leave that completely saved. And then you just click apply profile. And that's just the basic way of getting this set up. Uh, any other uh, thoughts I can put out there? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, there's some things that would just be really nice. This is a, in basic, it's a pretty decent video editor. It's free, it's pretty decently easy to use. You have a lot of things, different filters that they have the presets in there. And on top of it, you can change like transparencies and even color keying for like green screen effects and such. Well, one of the things that would be nice to see, hopefully, is them implementing some hardware support like uh, using CUDA or OpenCL to encode faster because honestly, when you convert these files, it takes a long time to do it. So hopefully they change that so it doesn't take so long, but if you're going to use VSDC, uh, here's an high quality settings for you to use and the video will look absolutely gorgeous when it comes out and for you you can just directly afterwards upload it straight to YouTube. I hope this helps uh, people out and uh, hope you like the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and thanks for taking the time for watching this. Oh, the music I'm listening to is uh, Nightcore. It's uh, some to me personally, I personally like it, and if I'm going to be listening to it and having it on my channel, I better at least uh, give it out there. A shout out to Natsumi Nightcore for the channel for the music I am putting on 
behind in this video. And uh, go check out the channel if you like the beat. And uh, see you next time if you come back for more.